This video will go over the DCMSS setup for system amps 2 and 3. Some system amps utilize the interstage EQ while others don't. The SS01 is made for amps where the interstage EQ is utilized. The SS02 has a variable EQ, so it can be used in amps where there is no interstage EQ, as well as in amps where the interstage EQ is present. The SS04 also has a variable EQ. It has a different pin configuration and is for use in the system amp LEs with 12 volts DC power packs. Remove the RF cover and swap out the original AGC with the DSM SS. The LED on the DSM will begin to blink a steady blue, indicating that it is in manual mode. With the cover still off, verify the tilt of the amplifier. If using a DSM SS with a variable EQ, start with it set to mid range, approximately 10 dB, as a starting point and adjust further from there to get the proper tilt. Replace the RF cover and torque screws to spec. Verify the response once the cover is tightened down. Now balance the amp as per system design specifications. Plug the controller cable into the DSM, then plug the controller into the cable. The controller LED will flash red and blue for a few seconds while it syncs up. Then it will turn solid blue to indicate that the DSM is in manual mode. The controller is used to upload the pilot channel into the DSM and place it into AGC mode. The back of the controller shows what channel it is programmed for. The mode button cycles through the three available modes. Clicking it while in manual mode will switch the DSM into AGC mode. Clicking again will switch the DSM into thermal body mode. Clicking once more will cycle the DSM back to manual mode. The plus and minus buttons are only needed when setting up in extremely hot or extremely cold conditions. If the outside temperature is between 40 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, there is no need to use the plus and minus buttons. If it is extremely hot or cold out, you can use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the body position for optimal performance. Refer to this chart for recommended adjustments. For example, if the weather outside is above 100 degrees, Tap the plus button on the controller a couple times to raise the level reading on your meter by 2 dB. Then, change the pad at the input to get back to system design levels. Now that the amp is balanced and an extreme temperature adjustment was made if it was needed, press the mode button on the controller to cycle the DSM over to AGC mode. The controller will flash blue and red for about 30 seconds while it uploads the pilot channel into the DSM and the DSM locks onto the pilot. When the alignment is finished, the controller will flash blue on and off rapidly, indicating that the DSIM is now in AGC mode. Remove the controller from the cable, then remove the cable from the DSIM, and the amp setup is complete. The LED on the DSIM will flash a pattern representing the pilot channel it has locked onto. In this example, the DSIM is set to channel 88 digital. Here we see 8 quick blinks to represent 80 another 8 quick blinks to represent 8, and then two long blinks to represent digital, as opposed to just one long blink, which will represent analog. Here are some examples of blinking patterns for other channels. This LED color coding chart can be helpful for your first few installations. On the left is a list of color codes that appear on the DSM LED, and on the right are the color codes that appear on the controller LED. Notice that the DSIM has a third mode, which is a thermal compensation mode. It is helpful to know that this mode is available, which you will know you are in when seeing a pinkish purplish light on the controller LED. Most systems prefer to always set the DSIM into AGC mode rather than thermal, since the AGC mode provides a more precise gain control. If the DSIM is set into AGC mode and the pilot channel is ever lost, the DSIM will automatically switch to this thermal compensation mode and automatically return to AGC mode once the pilot channel is restored. For additional information, visit acicoms.com.